Hey guys, Fubblink here today, and welcome back to Prison Architect! Uh, we are running out of water. Uh, oh god, it's getting worse. And now it's getting better. That's fine. <laughs> the pipes are just filling up with water. So, where are we now? We are 9pm, free time, they can do whatever they like. Like, hey, we've got a couple hours of free time, anyone going to the common room? No. Uh, the kitchen, the new kitchen adjustment seems to be working pretty well though. Uh, ooh, make your phone call. So, uh, yeah, anyways, this episode we're going to continue on. Getting 11 prisoners tomorrow. Should be nice. A uh, couple of things I want to do. Probably uh, put in metal, de metal detectors. I forgot to do that. Well, I didn't forget. I just never got around to doing it, I guess. Uh, where are they? There they are. So we pretty much want them in every logical place that we would need them. Um, now, I would... The, the way these doors are on this side, I can't really fit metal. I guess I could do them like this, actually. If I put them there, either one going into those doors needs to go through a metal detector. That works. Uh, and then we can do them, I guess, there as well. Just for symmetry's sake. So we'll do it on that side as well. Because then everyone will get scanned going into the showers. And those guys going into their cell block will get scanned as well. Uh, as for these guys, I think I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to put them there. It's kind of... Not the best solution. I mean, ideally, I could just put them in here, like inside the little hallways, but then I can't put them on this side, and then and then it just annoys me because it won't be even. So, yeah, that's that. As for the canteen, um, I think I might actually just leave that because there's all these metal detectors everywhere else. But we do need to put them into the workshop because that would uh, also be ideal to make sure that when they go in and out of the workshop, they get scanned at all times. I'll also do one into the storage room. I can't rotate that. Like, I, it doesn't matter which way it's facing, because I'm pretty sure they still get scanned there, but it just doesn't look like it's in the right spot, you know? Which is really sad. Um, I don't know, I, actually, where else would we possibly need them? I don't know, I think, I think it's pretty good. I think I'll leave it like that for now, anyways. Okay, so let's have a look at our utilities, because we need to make sure these are all powered. How much power do we have left? Plenty of power! Uh, that door is not even powered, apparently. Jeez, alright, well, that will go straight through to that. And then onto that spot there. Uh, and then, I think the rest should already be powered, because they should all just be connected up. Because they're placed over where cables are. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that door is just... That uh, door control has just stopped being powered for some reason. Was that ever... Maybe that was never powered. Huh. I don't know. There you go. Oh, okay. See, now I've cancelled something. I don't know what I've cancelled. I, I right-clicked to open the door, but I've cancelled something in the process, haven't I? What, what, what did I cancel? Was it the cable? No, that's still there. Uh, I don't know. We'll wait till the guard comes and open. We'll figure out what I cancelled in a minute. <laughs> Can a guard come and open the door already? Just why, what, Since when did that not have power? I swear that was always powered up before. Half of these people aren't even sleeping. Can, can, you, dude, you're right there! You just walked right past them! Are you gonna open the door for them? Is anybody- There you go, Jesus! That took you so- Okay, now we got the same problem again. There you go. Can you just open the door? There you go, now it's powered again. That was powered before, wasn't it? I swear it was. I guess maybe it wasn't. I don't know. I don't know, but <laughs> there we go. All good. So all our metal detectors are powered up and in place. Looking pretty good. So, uh, we got minus 562 cash flow. Not too shabby, not too shabby. I mean, it's extremely shabby, but you know what I mean. Um, what I'm going to do... We're going to spend a few minutes now doing the guard deployment because everybody loves a little bit of guard deployment. So let's go ahead and do our little scheduling. So, where's my uh, my regime? Let's just... Oh, can I not put that off screen? Because ideally I would like to put it about there so I can't see... All, I, I don't need to see the whole thing. Oh, I can do it on that side. That works. But then I can't see... How come it lets me put it that way? But then I can't see the menu, but I want to put it off that side of the screen. No, I want to... It's not that useful on this side. Because I need to see the deployment. Huh, I'm really upset by that, actually. I'm very upset by that. Um, anyways. <laughs> so sleep time is from 11, so... 11. Uh, so I can go 1... And then till 5, is it? Uh, oh yeah, so it's about to go into... So that's shower time. Then we have yard time. And then we have... Eat time. Oh, oh no, not, not five. Four. Eat time. And then we have two hours of free time. Let's just get all the colors set up. Then we have work. Uh, a lot of clicking here. How many hours of work do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, and then we have eight time again, which I colored as four. Colored as four, numbered as four. Uh, and then free time again, which was five. All right. So I think this should correspond. Why can't you just set this up so it like you just use those colors? Like, can't I just use brown for sleep and then blue? I don't know. That's probably a reason. Um, <laughs> that there should be a button at least to say like mimic schedule, like oh yeah, copy schedule into the deployment thing. That'd be nice. Anyways, so during sleep time. Uh, we want to start deploying. So we okay. So we got our schedule. So during sleep time, let's go guards, no guard patrols rather. We don't need one out there. It's not necessary. So we only have two guards deployed at this point. So we're gonna get one, two, three, four. We have five guards that are going around. We have we have eight guards in total. So we have five in there during sleep. Then we're going into shower time. So we'll get rid of those two. And then we're gonna get get a patrol in the shower. And we'll put one over here as well. I have one guard in there, one guard in there. And then we'll have a couple going around there still. I guess I didn't need to remove those two. Uh, then I guess this is free time, I think, was it? Wait. No, yard time. Okay, so this is yard time. So I'm going to change this patrol. I'm going to get rid of that patrol entirely because that's just not right. So this is two hours of yard time. So we're going to just get a patrol that pretty much just goes around like this. Uh, so I'll go one. Two, three, four, and five, because they should all be out there at that time. Then four is eat time. Yay! Eating. So we'll just extend this little patrol a little bit. So they can they can walk around a little bit more. We'll even uh, go through the middle. They can just sort of just meander around. I would just use the guard like click in the room, but apparently that sort of messes up like, and it resets. And but the I don't know if that's been fixed yet, but the uh, patrol doesn't apparently. Uh, patrol route, so that's why I'm doing this way instead of just clicking on the room. So we'll put four of them in here. Oh, maybe five. We'll go five because it's get a nice little shape like that. That's good. So we have five there during eight. Uh, now five, I believe, was free time. Was it? Yeah, ten to eleven. So they can kind of go wherever they want here. So what we'll do, we'll have one in the can uh, the yard area. They might still be sitting in the uh, the kitchen at this time. So we'll go. Okay, put it there. Then. Uh, and then we'll have a couple in here. And they could also go to the, I guess, I, well, obviously the common rooms. So, I don't know. Could they go to the chapel and library in free time? I don't know how that works. Maybe. Maybe what we'll do, we'll have this little patrol go into those two. Um, and we'll only have one guard on that one. It'll walk around. Maybe we'll make it a little bit less. It'll just walk up and down that way. That'll be fine. He'll poke his head into those two rooms. Uh, and then I guess we'll have a guard in this common room here. So you just sort of walk around, because it's free time. No, just one. So that's one, two, three, four, and then five guards. And then we have three spare that can sort of just hang out wherever. Uh, Alright, then work time. Now we should have a bunch of people in laundry. Well, not, I don't know how many we'll have in there, but we'll have a guy in the laundry. Then we might have this guard here, he'll sort of walk between the two cleaning cupboards, make sure it's all good. He'll also poke his head into the, uh, the workshop. I don't think there's anyone in there at the moment, so we won't bother doing a full uh, patrol in there. Uh, where else could they work? I think, oh yeah, we had a kitchen thing going on as well. So we'll get a garden there. Um, and then, other than that, they'll just be walking around the prison cleaning. So, I guess we'll have one on there. We'll have four guards deployed, and then the other three or four can just walk around, I guess. So that's work time, and then that goes back to eat time. And then into yard time, and then into sleep time. Hey, there we go. So let's just resume. There we go. So now we have a guard deployment schedule that should uh, hopefully keep tra track of our prisoners as well as we can. So it's shower time. So we get a guard in each of the showers. Oh, that guy can just stand in the doorway. Here comes the actual patrol. There it is. And then we're going to go into yard time. There we go. So they're all mosey on out into the yard. There we go. All getting scanned. That's not a lot of prisoners we have here, but uh, there we go. Guards are out there in the yard, having a nice little patrol around. And uh, we're going to have some new prisoners in 50 minutes. Uh, hopefully we will start breaking even. How much should we get from low risk? I think we only get like 50 for low risk, so we might not actually be breaking even yet. Need a lot more prisoners. I need another gardener, really, because this guy's struggling to keep up. Oh, minus 18. That's not bad. We should get a little bit more. There you go. 273. Hey, breaking even. Uh, so here's our, here's our new prisoners. So they'll come into the prison. Uh... 
So we should have five guards in, in the canteen, and then three of them should uh, should be free. Um, although, I guess one of them is in here, and then we have two taking prisoners in. Is that how it works? Yeah, one, two. That guy's sitting on the door control. All right. That's good stuff. I don't know. Does that is that door server not connected? Because I just saw the guard open it for the prisoner. Oh, it's actually not connected. Huh. There you go. Now it is. Uh, I think the rest of them are. I don't know. Yeah, I just I just noticed that the guard had to open the door for them, which is uh, not ideal because I would like them to be able to walk in and out freely. Um, oh yeah, that's the other thing. I need to change this door here. Dismantle that door. We need to change that into just a wooden door because if our prisoners are allowed to work in there, which they are, they kind of need to be able to get in there without a guard opening the door for them all the time. Oh, so we'll just change that to a wooden door. That should be fine. So it's free time. They're all around wherever they want to be. Let's have a look in the library. That's good stuff. Uh, so then we'll go jump into work time in just a minute. Oh, I three of we never have a garden visitation. I don't even know. Have we even had visitors? I haven't even been paying attention. So they're still bringing prisoners in. That guy's a snitch. <laughs> It should be right though. I don't think we should face too many prison shankings. Uh, so we should be okay in terms of that. Um, Alright, so it's work time. Oh yeah, we should probably assign more people. So we've got 27 uh, people. So we're going to go ahead and go to our... No, logistics it is, isn't it? They moved it. We'll get 8 people on that. And um, we'll, we'll fill up our canteen as well. So we have 0 qualified there. Oh, we have 5 people qualified for the... Um, no, I want 5 in there. No, 5. We have five people qualified for the kitchen, so that's kind of cool. I don't know what they're going to do, because... I guess, is eating right after work? Oh, it is. So I guess they would actually work on cooking that food for everyone. Uh, but there's no one going in there, so what I might do is just... Do this to make sure that they get assigned to the... Yeah, there you go. Now we'll fill up these two. <laughs> because they just weren't getting assigned to the kitchen, which is kind of annoying. And now they're being deassigned! Unless they're going off to, like, a, a program, actually, which I guess makes sense. That might be going up to something. Uh, it could be a classroom, a class going on right now. Reform program session. Yeah, I need more, I need more, no, I don't need more guards. What I need is CCTV. Let's, let's get on that because we can't see what's going on in half of this prison. Um, <laughs> we just don't know what's happening. Utilities. Uh, we want to get a CCTV monitor. So I'll put one right there. I actually want to, I'll get an additional guard for that. Just so we don't lose a guard to that. So that should be, uh. Be handy. So we'll wait till that's put in and then we'll start putting in cameras around the place because that would help us to see the prison where we can't see anything. The other thing we also need to, I guess, work on is our programs a little bit because I think I kind of just left them about too interested. Um, four, four interested, five finished, five passed. Good stuff, guys. Guard taser certification. So zero and Q, zero and Q, zero. Seven inch. Oh, okay. We haven't even done the workshop one. For some reason. I don't know why I didn't start that. That was silly. Six of them are interested. So it's 12. It still says 12 a.m. I should say 12 p.m. to 12, uh, 2 p.m. Uh, let's have a look at my schedule. So my workshop safety course is there. Now I'm wondering if we move that down. Oh, see that conflicts with spiritual guidance. Does that, does that have to be during work time? Yeah, that's, that's annoying. No, no, no. See, see no, 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 no. Move up. Uh, I guess that's okay then. Spiritual guidance or workshop safety. Uh, unless we move it... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Edit schedule. We'll put it on the same time as kitchen and safety, because I guess you're only going to be doing one of those, so... Do either of those. That'll be fine. So you can go to your Alcoholics Anonymous, and then you can go to your spiritual guidance. But if you do, if you're doing foundation education, then you can't do that. Although, you yeah, know, that's probably fine. I'm just trying to... Foundation education. Maybe if that... Mm, oh, that's probably fine. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably fine, though. Oh, unless we... um, No, I'm thinking maybe if we move these back to the very start of work time. And then... Because those three there, you're only going to be doing one of those. So can I pin that? There we go. And then if we move alcoholics there and spiritual guidance down... So you can go to your programs and then you do your little things. Or if you have a patrol, uh, parole hearing, you'll... A patrol hearing. If you have a parole hearing, you'll do either of those two. So, I mean, you'll miss out on a little bit of alcoholics. But, you know, that's one of those things. You gotta. You gotta miss it out sometimes. Uh, so that should be okay. 
Eight finished, five passed. So what does that mean? Spiritual guidance. What can they do now? What happens if they pass? Some prisoners are religious. Bring in spiritual leader. Sense of calm amongst your prisoners. Led by a spiritual leader at a chapel. Session length, two hours. Each prisoner requires a pew. Prisoners... Each prisoner requires a specific need before joining. Can hire externally. Students sit. Repeatable. Easy. I think, I think it just sort of subdues them for a little bit, I guess. I don't really know, but I, I think that's what it does. So, eight finished. Well, who, who's finished? Have you finished it? Uh, experience? Spiritual guidance? Oh, you haven't done it yet. Experience? Spiritual guidance? Success chance? Oh, yeah, he did succeed. So, yeah, he did it. Maybe the other guy did it too. So what does it do? Where are you? Um, how do I... Oh, that's you there. Yeah, so calming effect. Yeah, okay. So that's what it does. Alright, it's just like a little effect on the prisoners. That's nice. So I guess some of our prisoners helped cook the food. Uh, I would imagine. Oh, here comes a little bit of food delivery. Nice stuff, guys. Time to clean up. If only the prisoners would help clean up, but nope. Alright, so a little bit of free time now. Uh, we have $103, 8 prisoners arriving tomorrow, and I think we're going pretty well. So the other thing we need to do, uh, now, oh, what, okay, Q, Q and E, zoom in, did not, I accidentally pressed Q instead of W, I was like, oh god, what is happening? Okay, I'll stop doing that now. Yeah, yeah, so now that the CCTV is in, we should actually give that guy something to watch, because <laughs> he's just looking at a monitor with nothing on it right now. So, let's, uh, figure out, oh, can we place those in objects though? Yeah, we can, because I can actually see. So we definitely need... At least a couple in the classroom, because I have no idea what's going to be happening in here. So we'll get at least one in the classroom. We'll get one in... Well, we don't need one in the parole room, because when someone does have parole, like, we'll, we'll see in there anyways. Get one in the Alcoholics Anonymous room. Uh, we'll get one into the, I guess, the library in the chapel. That'll probably help. And then we'll get some into the cleaning cupboards. Get some into the workshop. Uh, where else would we need to see? I guess the holding cell, but they're not going to be in the holding cell yet. I think that should be fine for now. Because the rest of the stuff... Oh, and the visitation. That was the other place I needed it. Yeah, because we don't have it in there. Visitation. I don't know if we've even had visitors because I haven't been paying attention. Actually, let's not put them there. Put them the other way. On the side. Like that. Alright, so let's wait till all those are in and then we'll connect them up. Four dollars cash flow per hour. Whoa! At least we're making a profit. That's all that ma that's all that matters in our prison that we uh, make enough money. So it's sleep time. We should have, I guess, five guards walking around. The uh, is oh, is that guy released? Must be released. Yeah, he is. Look at that. He's been released. Good stuff. Grading. Reoffending chance, sixteen percent. Not too bad. So has anyone actually left, or is he our first? Uh, zero prisoners have been released. Okay, so this is our first prisoner leaving the prison. Hey, there he goes. Beautiful. Alrighty. I'm proud of you, man. I'm proud of you. Okay, so are all the cameras in now? I think so. What we're gonna do... No, I was gonna say we're gonna fire the workers, but we shouldn't because we really need to build the rest of the prison. So let's not fire the rest of the workers because we will need them in a few minutes. We'll have to rehire them. So let's go ahead and connect up all our cameras. Oops, let me do it properly. Uh, there. There we go. I'm wondering if we should get a phone tap as well. I don't think it'd be I don't think it'd be very necessary to have a phone tap. There you go. Now we can see into some of these rooms. That's nice. It's good stuff. I like how that still lights up through walls. They still have not fixed that. Um I wonder if they're still as glitchy as they used to be. Well, yes, because this room is Oh, it's inactive. Oh yeah, because he's he's swapping between them. Because they can only view so many at a time. Which is kind of annoying. But anyways, that's fine. So, uh, I guess we'll go ahead and build, what do we need to build? I guess we just need to build all of this area, don't we? I guess, yeah, let's start building some walls, I guess. That's what the workmen can do, just go start building walls. Because we got a bit of money. And the more walls we have, the more money we can uh, make. Because we got to get more prisoners. We'll build a little bit of solitary here. I wonder how much it would cost to build all the walls in this section. I reckon we could probably afford it for 30,000, I think we had, or just a little bit under. Uh, actually, let's plan that out. Well, not plan it out, just get the shape of it right. So we have the cells on the top, like that, and then a gap in the middle, and a cell, like, sideways. Yeah, that's right. And another cell sideways, and then the cells 
up from the bottom like that. Let's get rid of that little bit. So that is our hallway. That is our hallway there. Just making sure I get all the the walls in the right spot before we start just guessing where they go. So let's go in there. Get rid of that and get rid of that. Uh, so I guess what I'll do as well is I'll put in to put in the the walls so we can uh, when we start putting in the actual walls or planning the walls, and we can uh, leave the gaps where they need to be. Now these ones, I believe, go like that, Oop. and like that. Oh, that's beautiful. Then I think I just did the doors on the side like that. Is that how I did it? Yeah, that is exactly how I did it. Just like this. Oh, not like that. Like this. Hey, they. Oh, oh. There we go. <laughs> A little bit of overreaction, but you know, that's how we do here. So that's gonna go in there. That's gonna go in there. Oh, that's too big. And let's go. Let's get rid of all those because we don't need that. Obviously. Oops. Now I think these are all the right size. I don't know, they, they look smaller because we don't have the back wall, but that is the right size. I don't know, it just, it's, it's tripping me out, man. Oh look, there's the gardener! The gardener's doing a little bit of sweeping around the back of the prison. <laughs> At least the front looks a little bit cleaner now. Uh, okay, so, now all these cells, yay! So many walls to plan, and then actually build. <laughs> Ugh. To the chore. There we go. Get rid of all those. Oops, that's too small. That's too small again. There it is. Hey, this is a uh, exciting commentary with Flabaliki here. World first. You don't get this on any other YouTube channel. Uh, you probably do. I get it on a lot, actually. That's probably why they don't have a lot of subscribers. Because <laughs> they are just doing planning videos all the time. <laughs> I wonder if there is just a channel on YouTube that's just about planning prisons in Prison Architect and not actually building them. Probably not. I'm going to go ahead and guess that there isn't someone doing that, because otherwise... Why would you do that? Why would you have a whole channel dedicated to planning prisons in Prison Architect? And not actually building them. <laughs> Seems like the worst idea. Oh dear. Okay. There we go, so all the walls are planned in. Uh, what we need to do now is build them! Yay! Wall time. One there. Come on there, let's get the, all the easy bits in first. That was about all the easy bits. What we could do is do this and then just cancel the little bits. Because we don't, we don't lose the money. I mean, we don't lose the bits of wall that we purchased. Because we can uh, put it in like this. And then save those bits. And then use them there. And that bit's free. Hey! Oh, we had to pay a little bit for that. So we have new prisoners in 56 minutes. Very nice. Let's get all these bits in. It's looking good to me. Oh, and then we're gonna do all the the wiring and all the all the water pipes. But this will be good, and then we can start getting in some uh, medium security prisoners because that's what we'll have in the uh, the top cell area, I think. That's what that will be. How you guys going? How you joined the yard time? Yeah, good. Yeah, they're enjoying the yard time. Nobody's using the weight benches, so I guess they don't need it. Um, they're all so ripped already that they don't need it. <laughs> uh, let's go across. Cut out those little bits, because they don't need those bits. This is uh, absolutely riveting entertainment. And, uh, hope you guys are excited for part two of riveting videos coming next week. Where we plan another prison. <laughs> I'm gonna start doing a series. It's called Plan in Prisons. Number one. Every episode will plan. We won't we won't even, it won't even be like one prison per video. It'll just be one room per video. We'll just plan out like we'll plan out like you'd even plan out a whole cell so you'd get like use the object tool to plan it out and everything. Yeah, that'd be good. You guys watch that right? You wouldn't? Oh, okay. Oh, why am I doing it like that? That's silly. I'm wasting time because I could just go like that. Ooh, there we are. So much quicker. Oh god, getting an RSI from all this. I really should have just taken a risk and done it with the walls instead of planning it. I, I probably would have got it right. Right? Maybe. $6,700. We're getting low on funds now. We have our new prisoners in. 
Uh, oh, one in solitary. Oh, we're getting 14 prisoners tomorrow as well. Which will bring us up to 48. We're nearing capacity, not quite there yet. But we'll get there eventually. I guess. There we go. I think that's all the walls built. Well, planned to be built. There's not a wall there for some reason. There you go. Alright, so that's all That's all underway. Uh, it's eat time, so they should all be in there. One is in solitary, so what is he What is he up to? I guess he's in there, but I can't actually see him. Um, oh, he's not in solitary anymore. Okay, never mind. So where are my new prisoners? Are they, uh, yep, they're all sitting outside. <laughs> Might get another guard now, actually. We'll get, we'll get ten. There you go. So we should have... Five guards stationed, then we have five free. But two of them are in there, so then we have three that are able to move prisoners from A to B. Uh, one of them have come off patrol now for some reason. It's interesting, I guess they're tagging out. Okay, so it's now free time. Uh, which is good. Alright. Yeah, that's all, that's all good. So, got a couple hours of free time here. Cash flow. We had a little dingling there. I don't know what that was for. Was that, uh... Did we just finish researching something? I don't know. Was that like tax relief or something? I don't know. Bank balance. 42 seconds ago, we, we spent 500 on a guard. That's a shame. All right. Well, anyways, so we've um, we paid for all the walls in there. Uh, what about our... What grants do we have for more free money? I like free money. Cell block C, is that 100 cells? Yeah. Uh, well, we could just do the short-term and long-term investment. We could do... Need at least 30 prisoners for the drug crackdown, which we could probably do quite easily. Staff well-being. Uh, at least five guards without assigned duties. Ensure none of your staff are exhausted. We could probably try that. Now it's gonna wait for all the staff to not be exhausted. Um... Hire 10 guards. I have 10 guards. Hire a security chief. Have him. Unlock patrols. Got it. Oh, there you go. No one's tired now. I uh, assigned three guards. Okay, well, we have that, so... Free money! Uh, visitation rights. Free money! Prison maintenance. Uh, unlock maintenance through bureaucracy. Oh! Two janitors we need for that. I'm not made of money, guys. There you go. I'm gonna hire a second gardener as well. To clean up the grounds a little bit. Um, yeah, so... When we, uh... I guess probably... Oh no, I guess not. I don't know. Whenever we decide that we're done with this prison, I think the next one we will uh, start from scratch. So we, we won't sell this one. Because uh, I, I haven't built a prison from scratch for a while, you know? Like we just start out with what... Uh, however much money you start out with. I can't even remember now. I don't even know. It's been so long, I don't even know. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely try to start, uh, start to build one out from scratch. Because that is fun. I haven't done that for a while. Uh, Alright, so it's work time. Do we have everyone assigned that we can? Because I think all the jobs are full. Zero qualified for in there. Five qualified in there. Eight, seven, and yeah, that, that's all the jobs we have. So, if you don't have a job, unfortunately, you're not going to have one. Um, but hopefully... Wait, where's my program? So, Foundation Education is active. Oh, <laughs> look at them in there. The kitchen Safety Hygiene is active. They're learning. Workshop Safety is active, so they're learning it too. There's like... Two people learning, I guess? Or is it just one? It's just literally one guy learning. He's the only guy in- There's nine interested in it, though. How come when I reschedule it, it just gets rid of the guard? I don't know, like I click reschedule and then he disappears? I'm not quite sure about that. And oh, that gets no teacher as well. Huh. I don't know. Nine interested, but uh... None of them seem to want to actually do the call. Anyways, I kind of just messed up that guy's, uh, that guy's course. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Um, that was my bad. Oh, look at all these guys. They, they do a good job cleaning, though. I'm proud of them. They, uh, they, my prisons do a good job cleaning. They, uh, spend seven hours just mopping the prison. That guy, that guy's going well. Look at them guys. like, whoosh, whoosh. Can I, uh, can I just follow you around? Like, is there a way I can just go away? Oh, okay, I've lost him now. That guy's just doing circles around. He doesn't actually want to do laundry. He's just circling. Uh, how's the laundry going, guys? Yeah, good? Huh, what are you in there for? What did you do? Pickpocketing. Six years. But what did you do to get in there? Found weapons. Ooh, not good. We haven't we haven't changed any of our policies, actually. Can you go away? Stop opening. No, go away. Go away. Go, oh, there it goes. Um, 
Yeah, we haven't, we haven't changed any of our policies or anything like that. Uh, can you guys not sweep in the staff room, please? That's not your. That's where the janitor sweeps. Yeah, see, look, janitor sweeping. So we good. Sweeping up the accountant's office. <laughs> uh, all right, so it's uh, it's almost I guess eat time. Yeah. Do we have enough food? Uh, almost. It's not actually cooked yet. We don't have enough people working in there. Where are the chefs? And where are the other two people that are supposed to be in there? Isn't there supposed to be like five people in there working? Like, there's, yeah, there's five jobs. There's eight prisoners qualified, so there should have been plenty of people in there. There's not even a single person in there at the moment. Where are the chefs? There's not enough food. There should, there was like eight people. I'm gonna get a third chef. We, uh, we have a little bit of a problem here. You really didn't need to go get a delivery of food right now. You need to serve the food. Because nobody's gonna have food. It's all cooked, but it's all in there, and not on their plates. All right, I'm gonna extend eat time here, because this is, uh... There we go. I'm gonna extend eating time a little bit, because we have a little bit of a problem. Where are all the chefs? Why aren't you serving the food? Everybody's still hungry. Stop getting the food from No, don't get the deliveries again! Oh my god, you idiots. Is it almost end of eat time? I'm gonna keep extending eat time, just to make sure everybody gets a chance to eat, because... The chefs just keep walking off to deliveries and not serving the food, which is all ready, because I can see it there. It's actually all cooked, they just haven't served it yet. Idiots. I don't know what happened to the eight people that we had in there. Not eight, so, well, five people, well, five prisoners were assigned to work in there, and they were qualified. And we have two chefs, so I'm not quite sure what happened there. Why are you cleaning up? Make more food, there's still hungry people out there. All right, well, they've just given up on life, so never mind. Put that back to free time for tomorrow. Uh, I guess we'll keep an eye on that for tomorrow, because that did uh, not go well. I guess we could probably do with more cookers and fridges. <laughs> we have a few more prisons now. Uh, I guess we'll get them in. Is that facing the right way? Yep. We'll get them in. There you go, guys. Now you have absolutely zero excuse to not have enough food for everyone. Maybe at breakfast time? I don't know. That might be that might be breakfast time because we don't have any prisoners working then. Uh, how much power do we have left? Oh, we have enough. That should be fine. Hopefully. I think. Let's see. Yeah, that's fine. Three more cookers to come in. So hopefully that should be fine. I mean, they're spending all their time trying to clean up right now though, so maybe not. I get another... The chef. There you go. I have four chefs. Alright. Because they're taking a while to clean up. I guess because we only have two sinks, so I guess it takes a little while. But if we're struggling with 34 prisoners to even feed them, then I don't know how we're going to handle, uh, you know, 112 prisoners. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see how that goes. So it's all me. It's, uh, it's going to be eat time soon. At, uh, when we, when we got, yeah, it's a few hours. Three hours. So you better, you better get on it. I better see enough food being cooked. And actually served. Uh, I just want to keep an eye on this and then we'll, uh, then we'll end the episode there for the day. So we have 14 new prisoners coming in today as well. So that'll be interesting to see how that goes. There they are all out in the yard having a nice day. There's bacon on the floor. Uh, there are two chefs in the kitchen cleaning up and not cooking food. So that's uh, good to see I guess. All the food is done. Look, all the food is cooked because the little green lines are maximum. Like, the, the full-size green line. So all they have to do is serve the food now. Uh, if you weren't cleaning up, could you serve the food? It's literally almost eat time and you haven't even served the food yet. Stop cleaning up now! There's no time to clean up. You need to serve the food. You absolute idiots. There you go. Just, just serve it all and then we're good. Nice. Alright, I think... There's still a lot of hungry people, but that might be the new prisoners that are hungry, so. Because there's plenty of food still there. Which they are not taking. I don't know. Uh, anyways. <laughs> I will end this episode here, guys. So thank you so much for watching this part of Prison Architect. I will see you next time, and have an awesome day.